These toroidal dynamics are visible at various scales. One of them is at the galactic level, which are huge spinning structures with billions of stars in it. Looks like typically big arms of galaxies spinning around and they have vortices that goes from the center out to the edge of the galactic halo that surrounds them. Stars move from this galactic disk out to the halo, down the vortices, and back out again. Stars like Arcturus, for instance, we know, have done that path already. That's the appropriate description even for the atmosphere of our planet. The weather goes from the North Pole down to the equator and then back up, from the South Pole up to the equator and then back down. Even the dynamics on the surface of the Sun are very similar. Of course, here we're looking at it from an external perspective on a small scale model. When you look at the solar system embedded in the galaxy, embedded in the cluster, embedded in the supercluster, we're traveling in this boundless sea of infinite Taurus flow.